Hey everyone, so it's been a while since I've done one of these channel update videos and I think now's a good time to do a new, albeit short one. The primary focus for this video is basically that I am going to start covering topics in the Red Alert games. I know that's something that people have been asking about in the comments and I held off on doing Red Alert videos because I wanted to get through all the topics I plan to cover in the Tiberium series first. After 50 videos, I think I've largely accomplished my goal covering all the units, buildings, and weapon systems in the Tiberium games. That's not to say that I won't revisit the series again if I think there are new or interesting topics worth covering, but I think now is a good time to put it off to the side and focus on the Red Alert games. One of the other reasons I held off on covering Red Alert exclusive videos is that I didn't really know how to structure the series. Uh, the thing that separates the Red Alert games from the Tiberium games is that they lack a consistent grand narrative. And what I mean by that is the Red Alert games aren't exactly a single timeline due to all the time travel shenanigans that occur in them. For example, Command & Conquer 3 Tiberium Wars is a direct sequel to Tiberian Sun, or more specifically the Firestorm expansion. The events of Tiberian Sun and Firestorm take place in the early 2030s, and Tiberium Wars begins years later in 2047. But if you compare that to Red Alerts 2 and 3, well, Red Alert 3 is not a direct sequel to Red Alert 2. It's actually a completely different timeline, which means it's more like a reimagining of Red Alert 2 rather than being an actual sequel. There's also an issue when it comes to the I guess, tone between the Red Alert games, particularly with Red Alert 1 versus 2 and 3. Red Alert 1 is a game that takes itself seriously. There aren't really any jokes or fourth wall breaking moments during the cutscenes. It also has a darker atmosphere to it that I think is likewise prevalent in the Tiberium games. Red Alerts 2 and 3 are the exact opposite of Red Alert 1 in this regard as they don't take themselves seriously at all. They fully embrace their B-movie campiness, which, don't get me wrong, is fun and entertaining, but it is a noticeable difference that separates them from the first Red Alert game. Part of that also has to do with the fact that Red Alert 1 was initially intended to be a prequel to Tiberian Dawn, and there's a whole debate on whether or not that is still the case today, but I don't want to go down that rabbit hole in this video. So with all those complications in mind, the way I plan to structure the series is to focus on topics that all three of the Red Alert games have in common. So this would include things like the Tesla weapons used by the Soviets, or the chrono technology of the Allies. Obviously, this won't necessarily apply to the Yuri and Empire of the Rising Sun factions, so any topics I cover with them would stay mostly within their exclusive games. So that's my plan for upcoming content on the channel. I may occasionally throw in some non-CNC related videos every now and then, but the Red Alert series will be the primary one on the channel. Alright, that's pretty much it for this video. Big thanks to those who support the channel directly through Patreon, as well as everyone who's been watching my videos, liking, subscribing, commenting on them, as all of it helps to support the channel. So with all that said, I will see you guys in the next video.